I will create a new script and an empty game object to assign it. Inside the script, I will define a string variable and a float variable. So, let's convert the string value to float inside update when pressing the spacebar. For that, we will use this instruction, float.tryParse, and between parentheses, for the first parameter, we send the string data, and for the second parameter, write out and the float variable. This instruction results in a boolean value, so we can use it for an if condition. So we will enter in this part of the code if we succeed with the conversion. Here we could do something with the float variable, in this case, just printing a message. And if we don't succeed, we go to this other part and make another thing. Let's run this and do a couple of tests. Write 1.1 and press space. As you can see, the float variable takes the value 1.1 and we also have the message in the console. If we write ABC and press space, we see the other message in the console. Be aware that it's not the same to use dot or comma when working with floats. Some cultures use the dot while others use the comma. And depending on what you're doing, you could find serious problems with this. So you may want to inform the user which format to use or find a way to recognize the culture and apply the proper conversion. Subscribe to this channel so we can see each other again in the next video.